this demo, we're going to see how to filter a table. So we're going to take and add a field on top of the table, and we're going to give it a title. And we need, of course, to have the value in this field kept somewhere. So we're going to define a variable to keep the value from this field. It's going to be a simple string, and we'll call this one the filter var, for example. All right, so now set the data for this field to be based on this new variable. Now the table is based on the service data provider, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to add an event to the field. Uh, the event is the value event. And when the value changes, we're going to assign a variable. Okay, so let's go and use the assigned variable to look into the service data provider that is behind the table. And you'll see here the filter criterion. And in there, there's an entry for criteria with a place to define attribute and value and operation. So the value that we're going to filter to is the value from our filter bar. The operation, uh, we're going to check if it's equal. So uh, between uh, quotes, put the dollar equal sign. And the attribute is the ID of the field that you're uh, filtering on. So in our case, this would be the traveler um, field. Since there can be multiple criteria, you also need an operator over here, so we'll use an OR over here. In the blog, you'll see the actual other options that you can use. Right, now we're basically ready to run our application. Uh, so we go over here and we'll switch to a uh, live mode. Okay, and if we type, for example, in the field shy, we'll get shy as the traveler. And if we'll type John, the table will filter to show us John. And that's all you need to do.